Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. I guess we need to change this to, from nail art to how I organize because that's that's part of it. When you end up getting so much stuff in your collection, you got to find a way to organize everything. Polish, foils, stickers, stampers, and that is what we're going to talk about today is my stampers. I had um, for years and years just kept them in little Tupperware containers that were like this big. I was always worried about them touching and sticking and getting messed up and then I remembered I had this little container and this is from Recollections I got it at um, I believe I got this one at Michaels um, I'd actually bought it to put swatch sticks in and got home and realized my swatch sticks was way too big for this so um, I'm gonna pop this rascal open if I can get it past the camera yes so it's got this tray in the top and that's where I'm putting all of my like extra stamper heads and scrapers. Um, you know, I've got quite the collection going. Um, like these little rectangle ones are from Westonia. These are some more of the Bundle Monster monocle stamper heads. These are my Starry Night ones from like AliExpress. Um, that one was from one of the original ones. Uh, and then I've got a for real clear jelly stamper and you can tell that one's, that one's a little jacked up but I save them because they're good for using for like glitters and pigments and things of that nature. Um, here's my really jacked up one that I left in the package. I don't know why I save it. Why do we say things like this ladies? Can you let me know? I, I don't know. I left it in the bubble wrap package that it came in and this is what happened to it. I got totally disoriented. Um, and then all of these are from Westonia, I believe. Um, this is my very first, very super duper sticky, sticky marshmallow head. I only have one that's really like that. Um, so then you pull this tray out, and there are all the other little containers and stampers. So, as you can see, I do have quite the collection. I've got ones from Born Pretty. Some of them I've labeled, some of them I haven't. Um, I think this was an AliExpress one. Uh, this one says Beauty Big Bang on it, so thankfully I know where that one came from. And this is an Ejubus. And then these, a lot of these I don't really know where they came from. This one's Bundle Monster. It's got it written on there. That helps. This one, no telling. Could have been my original clear jelly stamper one. Uh, some of them I did label, because <laughs> you know, we crazy. Uh, labeled Westonia on that. And um, this is my Westonia, my very first Westonia one. And then I've got like AliExpress and Faber Nails and more AliExpress and Beauty Big Bang. And, and then I've got Sh Shall We Stamp. I don't even know if they make them anymore. This is a very sticky marshmallow one, too. But I figured having them in something like this would keep them, you know, protected and not covered in hair so much. And um, also, they would all be in one place when I was looking for something. So I've got my little AliExpress rectangular clear stampers down here and um, my Conad stampers that I love so much. And then these are some of my first, oops, first stampers. This one was a Conad one. Very firm, but you know, we do what we do. And this is a queen one. So, you know, I've held on to everything. I just, I can't. Oh, and this is from Creative Shop. Wow, that's a walk down the street, man. I hadn't thought about that in forever. And you can tell they've been used. But I do get hooked on stampers. I'll get to where I use, you know, one, one will sit out on my desk, and that's what I use, and I use it, and I use it, and I use it. And, Right now, I've got three out on my desk. I can see um, the Maniology one that I've been using and a couple of these clear ones from AliExpress. But I kind of get hooked on, you know, what I'm using um, at the time. And But if I if I start having trouble with stamping, then I'll go ahead and pull, you know, pull, pull something else out and give it a shot. But this is my original Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. I do have extra heads for it. And then I bought one from Wish that looks just like it. Just like it. And so there you go. Bunches from AliExpress and, and everywhere. So I just wanted to share that with you, how I came up with the idea to, you know, kind of rein in my 
collection and get it organized. I hope, I hope that this maybe helps someone. Like I said, I got this container at Michael's and I don't even remember what I paid for it. I do know the day that I went in there they had some kind of special and then there was a coupon in their flyer so I got a good deal on that and I do really like it. I love that it's got that flat tray for storing the flat items in and you know it just all fits in there nicely. I would look at this little teeny one. This one goes to that pencil stamper <laughs> which is not in here. I it's also got a cleaning brush on the end of it, so that's probably why that one's in there. So, that is it for my show and tell today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you store your stampers. Um, and, and if you see this as excessive. <laughs> so, that is it. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it again. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.